The world is now dominated by an animal that doesn't think it's an animal. And the future is being imagined by an animal that doesn't want to be an animal. This matters. It was that really, that paradox between on the one hand seeing ourselves as, as somehow separate and superior to the rest of nature, and on the other hand of acting in ways that are very fundamentally animal that, that led me down this, this um, route to really exploring what it means for us to be animals. But, you know, once I sort of went down that path, it was really, it opened up this massive territory um, because being animal affects absolutely every aspect of our lives. It affects the way that we vote, it affects the way that we love, the way that we touch, what we do and don't like, what we fear. And I started to see that this relationship that we have with being animal at a psychological level, at an emotional level and at, at a moral and, and um, ideological level is everywhere around us.